Hello guys, so I'm back with another tutorial. I have no clue how much, how many times I have to record this because the last time I did it, it was so close, but my mic decided to not be nice to me and it just muted at some part when I was talking. But anyways, this tutorial, I made a poll on my DeviantArt and majority voted how to use Raycast. Because, and this is what this tutorial is about, I'll do the other two later. And before we start, I have two things. First, you'll need MMD, which is this lovely program here. If you don't have it, I will. There are plenty of tutorials on how to download that. I can suggest some in the little eye on the upper right. Or you could just search them yourself. Or you could just put them in the description. Um, second, you'll need any effect to plug in. This one here. This helps you load effects because Raycast is considered an effect. And without it, then you can't do use Raycast because you need any effect. And there's no other way to use Raycast without any effect, because why not? Or RAMD. Now let's get started. So first, if you haven't already, download Raycast at the official page on GitHub. I'll just go back here. You'll need, the system requirements are these three, if you read them. If your if your PC Windows PC doesn't meet the system requirements, then you can't load Raycast. Anyways, if it does meet your the requirements of your PC, I mean if your PC does meet the requirements or MDMA effect. Go to releases. I recommend downloading the latest version, but you can download whatever version you want, because I don't care. Go to source code zip, and it's going to download it. Um, I'll, just, I'll just delete that because or used I, I don't need it oh, okay once you're done go ahead and extract to whatever like anywhere but I'm gonna cancel that because I already have that in my PC so now you open MD it's already open so I don't have to do that quick access then find can just load whatever model you want. I'll be loading. Oh, what am I doing? Where is it? What the heck? Oh, here. My summertime Miku model. Because why not? She's beautiful. Yes, she's up for download for you guys. So you can download her. You can follow this tutorial with the same model or Whatever model, just load whatever model you want. I, I don't care. <laughs> then you remove the corner axis and ground shutter because that looks terrible. Then you want to load the skybox. So find your RAMD folder. Skyboxes can be downloaded, but majority are, are not default. If you're by default, so, I'm gonna find a nice begin for another, which is the helipad golden hour. Just load that crap up. Yay, it's loaded. Then go to ME effect, set effect. There is a common mistake in whenever when it comes to loading the main effects, people usually load rate effects. If you do that, it's not going to work, ladies, you can see here. 
try doing that, it's not gonna work. Don't do that, it's not gonna work. It's meant for the ray.fx. It's, it's made for the X-File, see, it didn't work. Cause it's not meant for that. Instead you go to main, main.fx, now it worked. See, it's pitch black, but that's what it's supposed to look like because the shader is not fully loaded. Because on accessory manipulation load, you need to load ray.x, which is pretty much the main, the alt, the full shader. Wait for that to load because it does take a while for it to load. Oh my, surprisingly, it was fast. Wow. Anyways, if it does look like we do not want our model to be shadowy like this. If you guys keep it like this, please don't. That's not how you use Raycast. So you go to environment, wait, map, go to skybox, set effect, find the skybox folder that you just, you, the one you just used, and click the lighting FX, sky lighting, for example, whatever you call it. And as you can see, she looks so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Ah, very beautiful. But we're obviously not done yet. Go to material map. This is my favorite part, by the way. Right click on your model, subset is extract, and all the parts that assemble your model will be listed here. If it says subset, like if you don't know what it is, like, just uncheck and check the box to make sure like, oh, what's the body? Just right click here. I mean, yeah, left click, I meant. And if it turns black or disappears, then you're on, you're on the right track. Just keep doing that until you find the part that you wanna find. So once you're done with that, click set effect. If you want to set it on the skin, just find the skin folder. If it's a Tita model, go to Tita. Material to your body where red, it really doesn't matter because it's all up to you. I'm not deciding. But and as you can see, there's more detail on her body. And basically, I'll see you guys later because basically just do it to all the important materials like the clothes, the skin, the hair, the face. So I'll see you. Yeah, so if you do that, just click OK. What? Now just let the 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 ray controller just whatever. And just adjust to how like it's all up to you. Just doing For doing it for a video, just make sure to click register. Register, register, register. And that's pretty much it for the basics of RAMD. Go ahead and load more effects or mess with the other options. It's really up to you. Or just load of motion. Anyways, oh, don't mind that. Um. I'm so sorry, don't mind that. But, bye. That's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, oh, if you're recording, I'm sorry, sorry. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. And if it did work, I'm so glad it worked for you. So, bye.